I did a video on my hair. I love the wet look versus the poofy look. So I'm getting ready to go to work. Give me a little breakfast. You know, you guys know I don't do carbs. However, this was all that was left for me to eat is one of the kids' little pancakes on the stick. I'm going to eat that along with something even worse, some chips. But at least I'm honest. Um, I know the quality of my phone camera is not that great. But honestly, I don't feel like uh having that big old camera with me so i'm sorry this is just have to be sufficient enough for now we'll do this until we can do better okay make sure everything is locked up i noticed too on my vlogs i'll be looking real not myself trust me i'm not that crusty in real life i'm actually kind of cute of course i'm taking my butterfly to school she's in on the phone on her phone what's wrong all right guys i'm back i got everything settled um, got my little sweet butterfly off to school. She did so good this morning. Um, we've been having a really great routine. No crying and all that when we drop her off. So that's been great. I want to tell you guys something. Last night I had an episode at a moment. Um, I know my triggers. And definitely when things are out of place, I don't know, it just triggers something in me. And when I have my contacts on, this may really sound real crazy. Like I have a really bad, um, well, I'm not gonna say a really bad, but I have, I do have vision issues that I deal with. So when my contacts are on, I can see very well, like every little speck of dirt in the house, every little anything. And um, that kind of drives me sometimes. So I did have a little miniature episode and um, I had to tell my husband about it because I was really struggling last night. Like, I just was like uh, thinking about Vlogmas. Good thing I had already had a video um, done and it was already edited. I said, look at God, it was already edited. I didn't have to sit down and edit it last night. All I had to do was just put it on YouTube. And it's the one about the Erin Condren budget book. <clears throat> so um, yeah, I had already had that done. But then I just was kind of, I just got to the point to where I was feeling like, um, I don't know. Like, I just wanted to just kind of give up a little bit. So, I, thank God I pulled through that. But I did have a little episode. And I like to tell people the good and the bad. Because you never know what other people are going through. And most times, we only discuss our good moments. <sighs> But I also want to bring you guys with that. I had a, like a little moment mentally last night that I was really struggling with. And it's always when I go to sleep, always when I go to sleep and wake up, I'm okay. It's like I have to have a moment. And and honestly, you know, you know, I have my four-year-old daughter. So when I like she do little things that kind of tick me a little bit, but then she also does little things that um they kind of make me smile. You know what I'm saying? So kids I, know, I just can't explain it but i was really having a moment and like she was saying like little things to me last night when we were trying to go to sleep and it kind of just kind of eased me on into my sleep she said some of the sweetest things to me so thank god for her too although she ticks me sometimes too she she could do me some of my little triggers she she kind of I don't know. We we have we're taking a different parenting approach with her. So I do have a couple of um she kind of triggers me sometimes too, but on the same hand, my baby does. She kind of you know, settles me out like smooths me. Like last night she wants to play tag in the house and high go see in the house and things like that. You know, real things bring back your childhood memories. She was just getting a kick out of it. So every time I would tag her and take off running, she would really enjoy that. But I don't like when people talk about their kids on vlogs. I don't be want to hear that. So I'm going to move on. 
But I just wanted to let you guys know I did have an episode last night. Also, I'm so proud of myself because I remember to take the uh, hamburger meat down. I know it's ground beef, but where I'm from and how I was raised, we've always said take down the hamburger meat. So, sorry if you can't relate. But remember to take that down. Even though it's Friday and I didn't want to cook, but I really wanted to cook that hamburger meat yesterday and make spaghetti. So, we're going to be having spaghetti tonight. And I'll show you guys, but I'll only show you guys if you guys don't judge the way we make our spaghetti. So, it's really country fried. So, in our spaghetti, um, growing up sometimes my mama would put wieners. And only brown wieners my mama used. Only brown wieners. It does not taste the same to me. You can always tell if it's like an off-brand wiener or something. But only brown wiener. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all ever had this. I was so shocked. It was a um, and don't be offended because when I say white girl or black girl, don't be offended because when people say uh, African American, all I'll be like, you're doing too much. So I was so shocked when I met a white girl and she told me her granny did that, and I was just so happy. But we do put ground beef and wieners now, and I my mom told me it all stemmed from like back in the day uh ground beef was expensive so people would use like wieners and sausage and stuff and i guess it was just you know tasty i guess it was one of those things like chitlins you know how they gave us chitlins to chitlins to eat but um you know try to give us the slops or whatever second hand and, it, and we ended up turning it into something really good so i guess that's what happened with the wieners but anyway, I don't necessarily care for him in my spaghetti, but my husband didn't grow up eating his spaghetti like that. He grew up eating his, like, you know, ground beef or sausage. <clears throat> but I can't remember when we, early on when we were together, like in high school, if you guys didn't know, we've been together since high school. But early on, anyway, I don't know if it was my mom who had made some spaghettis or my sister. And I want to say it was my sister, Octavia, she made some spaghettis. And I think he tasted the wieners in it. And from then on, he's always liked the wieners in there. And he didn't grow up with having that <clears throat> in his spaghetti. So <clears throat> my son and I, we could do without the wieners in ours. Like, I, I don't mind the sausage. But the wieners are good. But um, I, ever since he tasted my sisters that time with them, I just kept it up. So we've always eaten wieners and ground beef in our spaghetti. And let me know if you guys use uh do you guys use ragu in your spaghetti or do you use your own like tomato sauce paste mixture? Like for me, I've always seen my mom like do three to four cans of tomato sauce and a can of tomato paste and we you know seasoning and all that kind of stuff. So I never ever you never have used the ragu sauce. I've used the ragu like the cheese, like the Alfredo and the cheddar and all that, but I've never used it for like tomato sauce for spaghetti so y'all let me know that that was that's a little detail but i made it to work with 10 minutes to spare so of course i'm just gonna sit right here in the parking lot waiting on um the other person to get here and i'll be talking back to you guys on my lunch break it, it's I want to so bad and I know it's a couple of girls on here every time I get off here I'm gonna say I'm gonna call you back I really want to say that but I don't want to steal nobody's stuff but I do have the urge to want to say that sometimes but I'll see you guys on my lunch break hello guys I am back and I'm on my lunch break I placed us an order we never side note eat out ever hardly ever and if we do fry fish my husband normally fry it so I said you know what today got us a little check today you know it's friday we're gonna enjoy so i just ordered us two fish plates from uh, uh i've tried this place before for like philly cheese steaks and it's really good so i just want to give them a try for the fish place we'll see how they go and i even got myself some french fries yep yep so i got me some french fries and um what else I'm gonna tell y'all? Oh, so I finally got my husband's Christmas gift. Well, one of his Christmas gifts. So he's been starting. He's has a fitness, um, uh, uh, fitness training business. He's been wanting to start. So in order to jumpstart that, I did his LLC, bought the domain, 
got the email all that done so y'all should check him out but of course he's been giving me like the weight you know like what to live how to live you know working me out pretty much so and my transformation has been awesome i'll show you guys a picture of my transformation also show you a picture of his transformation um we're, pro we're pretty much doing kind of mostly the same things um but he's a little bit more lax than i am and he's never he hasn't been chunky all his life like me i've been ch a chunky girl all my life but he knows how it feels to be skinny and slim and all that i'm still not skinny and, and never will be i don't want to aim to be but um yeah he has that going on so y'all go check him out and show him some support i'll post that definitely um uh, both our transformations um yeah and on his website he'll eventually be having like meal plans and ebooks and all that kind of stuff that you guys can go and purchase and i'll let you know when all that is available but for now he has the um he actually owns the business so our next step will be like open up a business account and all that type of stuff but now he owns the name so that's that all right guys so when I get home and I um when I get home I'll show you guys the plates and all that. All right guys, so I'm back and I'm back home. Here are the plates for our lunch. My husband on his plate, I got him fish, fries, hush puppies and dirty rice. On mine, I just got fish, fries and fried okra. So I want to come back and show y'all the lunch. Oh my god. Mm. So, I'll holler at y'all before I go back. Alright guys, so here is the spaghetti. And I told you I do put wiener in it, like country style. And that's for my son, my daughter. And then with mine, I have zucchini noodles. Now, the only thing about mine, you see this extra water. That's the only thing about the zucchini noodles. They do have like little extra water on them. So... Um, you should drain them real good. I didn't drain my uh, zucchini noodles as good, but I put them in the oven. And yeah, that's it. So that's dinner. My son likes cheese on his spaghetti, and bam. And I do everything separate. So, all right, guys. So I am currently sitting here editing day six, and look what the heck happened. Oh my god. This pees me off every time I see this. So it's basically saying like the file is missing. And I have to try to figure out how to gain this back. So I just want to share with y'all where the frustration comes from sometimes. Let me turn the camera around. I want to see if the footage is better. I'm sure it's better like this without a doubt. But I can't see myself. Maybe I can put my mirror right here. Oh, uh, you can't even see me. Okay. I did my little wet look routine today. And this is how I look after a long day of work. I'm loving this vendor. And this is a five by five closure. So freaking tired. Raise your hand if you're feeling them get on your nerves sometimes. I raise all my hands and feet some if, if if I could. But I love them to death, but they get on my last nerve. So I think I'm gonna retire her for the week. I think I'm going back long next week. But she cute. 